If the Ubiquiti Flex HD and Mesh AP access points had a baby, it would probably look a lot like this. This is the brand new access point Wi-Fi 6 mesh from Ubiquiti. And this is probably my favorite new access point that they have released in a long time. Let's take a look at this thing. All right, so it has the form factor of the Flex HD. It actually feels like it's a little bit smaller than the Flex HD, but this access point is in their mesh lineup and it's also Wi-Fi 6, which is new. They don't have an existing Wi-Fi 6 mesh access point. This little access point features 4x4 multi-user MIMO in the 5 gigahertz range and 2x2 MIMO in the 2.4 gigahertz range. It has a one gigabit ethernet port and it is powered by 802.3 AF PoE. The other cool thing about this access point is that it is IPX5 weatherproof, meaning that it can be protected from splashing water from any direction. I think technically it's low pressure streams of water from any direction, which means that this access point is made to be placed outside, but aesthetically, it's sort of pleasing enough to be inside on a shelf or anywhere. It's gonna just be a really nice sort of unobtrusive access point as opposed to like, you know, one of their big round ones. The MSRP of the U6 mesh is $179, which is about $30 more than the U6 Pro access point, which was also recently released. The differences are, of course, the form factor, this device has a little bit less gain, like one dBi less gain than the U6 Pro, but it also has that IPX5 weatherproofing. Inside the box, we have our quick start guide QR code. We have a couple of mounting options, which is this larger base mount, which I believe is for ceiling mounting the device. And then we also have a pole mount as well. And it also comes with a PoE injector. So if you don't have a PoE switch, you can use this to power up, it comes right in the box. So let's go ahead and get this thing adopted into Unify and then we will take a closer look at the Wi-Fi 6 mesh. All right, the Wi-Fi 6 mesh has been adopted and as you can see, we have the blue LED ring on the top, which means everything is great. It actually gets quite warm, so I'm gonna see if I can take a reading here. Yeah, 109 degrees Fahrenheit on the front and 108 degrees Fahrenheit on the back. But not too bad, you have the added benefit of this thing melting some snow if you put it outside. Looking at this device within Unify, we can see all of the standard stuff. Looking over at the settings, I basically have everything set to default. Now, of course, this being a mesh access point, you could potentially put this outside, give it some power, and then specify a specific uplink to a different access point for the mesh network or for the meshing features of this device. If you're interested in seeing a video on how I personally set up mesh in a real world environment, I'll put a link down below to that video that I just did re recently called uh, Unify Mesh Explained or something like that. So as you can see here, everything is absolutely default. Uh, if we want to change the color of the LED ring on the top, we can do that. Like, let's try setting it to red. And apply. And there we go. Now it is set to red. Of course, now this makes me think that something's wrong with the access point. Uh, you can put it to maybe some other color that's not quite so alarming. We'll try green. And when you change the color and click apply, it takes about eight or nine seconds to actually hit the access point itself. If we look at network, we can set a static IP or use DHCP as far as services go. Again, this is all just very, very standard stuff. But how does this device perform? Well, let's go ahead and run some speed tests. So speedtest.net, we're gonna say go. Now this speed test is Wi-Fi 6, so 802.11ax from my laptop to this device and then out to the internet from there. I've got a 600 megabit internet connection in my home office here. And as we can see, it's performing, you know, pretty well. We're getting close to 400 megabits per second uh, wirelessly, Wi-Fi 6 from my laptop over to this device. There we go, final result, 376.7 down by 41.7 up. Also running a speed test from my iPhone to this device, we're gonna say start speed test. And we ended up with 390 down and 45.6 up. So yeah, like really good 
performance out of this mesh AP. Now, why all this is connecting over Wi-Fi 6 and using the Wi-Fi 6 uh, wireless protocol, uh, keep in mind that Wi-Fi 6 is mostly about dense environments, right? So one device connecting to this thing is not really showing off the added benefits of Wi-Fi 6. But if you put this device you know, outside in a environment where there's a lot of people connecting to it, like at a baseball stadium, right? Then you would see some benefits from the 4x4 multi-user MIMO as well as the extra bandwidth that you get from the Wi-Fi 6 Spectrum. Overall though, I really, really love this device. This is kind of like my new favorite access point from Ubiquiti. I love this sort of soda can form factor. It's just so versatile in that it looks good indoors, but it can be outdoors directly in the elements, no problem. And uh, yes, yeah, so if I'm gonna be recommending access points, this is definitely going to be at the top of the list of my recommended Unify access points. Keeping in mind though that I have not tested out the U6 Pro yet. That's gonna be next on my list to test out. I already have it here. I'm just waiting to get that, uh, get that video done. All right, so have any of you guys gotten your hands on the U6 mesh yet? What do you think about the access point? Put that down in the comments below. I'm always happy to hear your feedback. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please click subscribe. My name is Chris with Crosstalk Solutions, and thank you so much for watching.